Uh, this is Deacon. Everybody, this is uh, Deacon Jones. He's got it. He probably was around with Jackie Robinson. They got limos around too. This is uh, Deacon Jones. He's a good, good, good friend of mine. He's got it. How many years, Deacon? A hundred years. <laughs> and he's got one of the World Series rings on right now. All right. Everybody, this is uh, Deacon Jones. Hey Chuck, Chuck, right. that was something. I know you kids. Span is like that, usually. That's why we in the skaters have a park whereby we have kids that can play, playgrounds, and all of that. And coming in the big league stadium, you know, you just get fancy. But my first question to you is you guys like school? No. no. <laughs> I heard some no's. Am I right? No, can I? Anybody raise the hand that said no? What the hell are you doing out here? <laughs> huh? Why are you out here? It's about the mind and the body. If you can't think, if you can't reason, you can't play. You know your history? The Greeks and the Romans developed the minds and the body. We don't want ball players who can't think. And the reason baseball is a thinking man's game. Am I right or correct, DJ? Just want to see if you're listening, right or correct. <laughs> but the thing at your age is to learn the game. I know parents who are out here, they want their kid to be a big league ball player right now. They want them to hit home runs. You don't even know the game! Learn the game. Look at video. All of us to learn the history of the game, if you can. Have compassion. At your age, I want you to play other sports. You don't know what you're going to be. We play football, too. I play basketball, football, and baseball. And at 15 years old, I decided, oh, wow. This football, I eliminate. This football thing don't make sense. <laughs> All you do is practice for one game a week. Does that make sense? I want to play. I want to compete. In baseball, you compete. And all you got to do is be one guy. Am I right or correct? One guy, the pitcher. Hello. See? The mind and the body. Learn the game. Learn how to run through the base. Run, learn how to run 95. Learn how to make the turns. Then the cutoff man, defense. Let me ask you this. What's more important, hitting or defense? Defense. defense. I didn't hear you. Defense. Ah, and why? Why is defense important? Come on. Talk up. Defense wins championships. Well, okay, yeah, but. Go ahead. They stop people from scoring? Yeah, you're all on the right track. But think about it. Go ahead. You can't win. The name of the game is what? 27 at out as opposed to four at bats. Now what's important? If you start giving the opposition what? 30 outs? 31 because the error of physically or mentally, you're gonna lose off the pitcher can't find the plate or scared to throw a strike. Boom, boom, boom. You'll lose. Defense. Fundamental. Do the right thing. Back up the guy. The ball could be hitting right field. The left fielder don't stand there watching it. He comes in, he holds the gap. We're going over throw. I saw a left fielder making out of third base. You're moving. You're up on every pitch. You might play a whole game and go 0 for 4. You haven't run hard. Run hard in your position. Run hard backing up. Say to yourself, the ball is going to be hit to me before it happens. If it's hit hard, I can do this. If it is so, I can do this. See, now when it happens, you've already turned it over in your mind. That's how you train yourself to play this game. You understand? Yes, sir. See, manager's going to get in your face, as he said. They're going to get in any personal. They're trying to teach. I'm telling you, I had some managers, boy, getting on me pretty good. 
and I deserved it because my brain was somewhere else. It's not easy. You ought to be tired at the end of the day. And one other thing. Let me ask you something. How many times did you practice? Guys, a week, a week. We had to do it four times this week. Because we didn't huh? do what? Four times? Well, we had to do it this week. I had to cancel the term because of what? Right. They didn't know the fundamentals of the game. Had to get back to the what? Basics. Basics. Well, let me tell you this, John. You can learn to play this game by yourself. You can learn to play it with two guys. You can play all, a game all day in a space no bigger than your yard. We did it. So stick ball. Throw as hard as you can with a tennis ball. You hit it over here, it's an out or whatever. It's a double here. It's a play all day. You're developing your hand-eye coordination. All of those things, man. You get a wall. If you're a pitcher, all right? Or you don't have to be a pitcher. Get a wall. Throw a circle there on the wall. And utilize your throwing. Shoulder high on every throw. Or hit the bullseye. Now the ball comes back, you're moving your feet. You're doing two things, you're throwing and you're making your feet move, you're feeling. Come on, be creative. You don't just come out of here and say, Ma, my uniform, my knees washing, but I got baseball practice. You know, what's wrong? You guys are smart. Be creative, use the mirror. Pitchers, use your mirror, work on your, on your, on your move to first base, second base, whatever. Players, ball players, hitters. See your swing. Feel your swing. Know who you are. At your age, maybe it's bad, going a little deep, but know, know your, your assets and your, your negative things. Where am I going to hit in the lineup? What did God give me? Did he give me legs? Okay, I'm going to hit the top of the order. I don't take big swings. I'll be at a pin in the neck type player. I learn how to bunt. I learn to control. I choke up the bat. I was telling somebody here just recently about hitting. I was, I'm a hitter, you guy. Okay? For years they taught me the wrong thing how to hit. Get your back elbow up. Our studies have shown, look at this, my back elbow up. My first move has got to be this. I'm already rolling under the pitch. I'm hitting against the guy throwing from the second story window. But here, if I, if I put my hands right up here to the height of my shoulder, and I angle my bat this way, my barrel of bat is going to get come through the ball. My back shoulder's up, I'm tight here, I'm tight here, I'm tight here. Look how far I got to come. Come on. You see? First you got to learn to put the ball in play. Forget power. You're developing. You haven't even eaten, learned to eat good food yet. All of you got a credit card to McDonald's. Going back to my mother. Preschools and dumb fools. Sorry, my pants are falling down. <laughs> Lost too much weight. <laughs> you guys got me fired up. I think about all the things. I look at you guys. I think about all the things I thought about as a kid. And what I wanted to do. The guy named Jackie Robson told me to go to college. Best thing I ever did. I hurt my shoulder. I slid head first in spring training to the triple against a guy named Sandy Koufax. Got up the next day, I couldn't move my arm. They wanted me to have all these operations. I said no. Of course, I imagined a physiotherapist knew my body. So I played in pain in the minor league for eight years. They told me to quit. You'll never make the big league. Well, I made the big league just for a little bit. You see? And the thing about it, sometimes you want it so bad, if you have the passion, it's all about passion in life. Whether you want to be a doctor, baseball, football, I don't care, it's about passion. If the road is like this in life, it's like this, and not like this. You're going to have ups and downs, boys and girls. You're going to go some, to some dandy slumps. I've been some, do some. Let me tell you, even being a good hitter, you go through it. Think about it. I was talking to a guy named Pete Rose recently. But Pete said, you know something? We're so blessed. I was the best hitter in baseball. Here's a guy who's got more stuff in the Hall of Fame than not even in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay? But he said, you know, I'm the best.
best hit up. Made it. It should be in the Hall of Fame. But nobody talks about how many hours I made. I made over 10,000 hours. See? Three out of ten. Think about it. You can fail seven times and be good. Seven times. Holy cow. Who else can fail seven times? A doctor? An engineer? That's why this game is so great. Be a pain in the neck. Listen, play the game right. But the umpires. Forget the umpires. Forget them! They're gonna make mistakes. They're trying to. Never turn around. Come on up. Come on. I did that one time. The next day I came in the locker room. The old guy, Johnny Mato, got this far up from my face, spitting and everything. Don't you ever! Turn around the umpire and embarrass him in front of everybody. He said, do it tactfully. Nobody wants to be embarrassed. So I thought, when he missed a play, at a play or a pitch, come on up, you're better than that. You're looking straight at the pitch. So I'm a good hitter. I know the strike zone. Come on. Only he knows, catch it, and God knows. <laughs> and because my reputation was that way, he gave me strikes, uh, balls when I knew there were strikes. Because umpires talk among themselves. Don't you get it? They got nobody else. Y'all don't like them, parents. No, y'all don't like them. <laughs> but they say, hey, you're going to so and so, get, get Johnny over there. Get him. You see, that's the way it is. That's what human beings are. Psychology 101. But you kids have fun now and play all those sports. But learn how the game. Learn the history of the game. Look at video. Look at Vinny. Develop your COVID. Ask questions. These guys are not your enemies. <laughs> They've been there, do that. Huh. And one day, one day, you may be sitting right here like these guys. One day. I will say to you one more thing. And I say this to all kids. You know, I talk about, I'm motivated. I like to talk positive. Get into a guy, you know? Attitude, the three A's. Attitude! A good attitude, A, number one. Attitude, the coconut. Develop it, A, number two. Put them together when you got altitude. It lifts you up to where you inspire to go. Ah, that's awesome. No excuses, I don't wanna hear. I don't want to hear, just say I messed up. One thing I learned about life, people ain't going to like you for a lot of things. The color, of your, the color of your skin, the clothes you got, the house you live in, the money you got, they are innately, innately jealous of each other. I don't care what people say about me because I know I'm a good person. You should know you're a good person and God knows you're a good person. That's how we are as a people. You come this way one time, boys. Work as hard as you can. You're young, you should be tireless. When you go home at night, you sleep. You have time for your studies, and then you study your play, and you study the game, too. Study the game, whether it's basketball, football, whatever the game. When you get to be 16 or whatever, no. Maybe, huh, maybe baseball may be the game I want. You know? Now that passion will start to kick in. You know? So, Dylan? Catch it. Look at him. He wants to be a big league ball player right now. I can tell. Look at him. That football, I tell you. And he probably can be a good one. He's got a good frame and everything. He's going to get stronger. He's going to have some power. Just work on a defensive skill, man. Work on it. That. You will win eventually as a team. It's a very tough thing, guys, in a team sport to have your own stats together with what? A winning team. That's very hard to put together. Because nobody wants to look bad and everything, and they, they figure the stats is going to light somebody's eyes out. And this sort of truth is true. But as he said, with scouts, I don't care about stats. I can tell. You know, we can tell through our training. You know, the swing, how the kids react, the 
instincts and all of that. He's the, he's the best player on the team. We know that. I know he's hitting good. Because the skill set is there. And as I told Cameron and the mother and father back right there, and uncle back right there, as a scout, there are five things we look at. Five skill sets. Can you run? Can you throw? Can you feel? Can you hit? Can you hit with power? Five things. If you can run and throw, look, you already got two out of five. <laughs> you learn how to feel. You might be an extra man in the big league. That's making a pretty good living, boys and girls. Three schools and dumb four. Yeah. I'm closing with this. Something I learned when I was going through the minor leagues. Trust me, in my time, it wasn't easy. It was tough being from New York and going down south. Not happy. The only time I saw my white teammates was on the bus or at the, at the ballpark. Let me tell you, I was tough. But I was determined to get the big league. I saw this point. Don Juven went to the library and asked me to go one day. While he was looking something up, I moseyed around and saw this old book. And I grabbed it, it was raggedy, and it fell open. It was just like by Divine Gardens. It was meant for me at that time. It was called the Standard of Manhood. I always committed to memory. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. All these years, I still know it, because it got me through. The standard of manhood is not strength alone. It isn't a matter of sinew and bone, because you see, your brain and your brawn, they ain't worth 30 cents, unless you go through with the things you commence. Reward is for the plotter, the bulldog, George Fellow, who never grows blue and who never, never, never turns yellow. But check it out. yelp or bellow. Smile all the while as he faces his trial. <laughs> Success, boys. Success. It's far more than a matter of wit. It can't be achieved without courage and grit. Mm -hmm. Author unknown. I call it Deacon's Law. Remember to tell your parents every day. Every day! Every day! I love you. Simple. Thanks very much.